Should I just come up? Come on up! You just have to watch your step on the third ledge. Should be good. I have to what? On, on the what now? It's fine. Cross my heart and hope to die. Scout's honor. Hope I don't die climbing this tower. Hi there. Good to see you. <laughs> so glad you made it. Isn't it nice up here? It sure is. Oh, that view gets me every time. <laughs> Sounds like you're starting to remember what's great about P.O.
those times we took some pie up from the diner after school and sat here talking about whatever we felt like. Oh yeah. How about that afternoon I snuck in some beers from Uncle Stan and they were really disgusting and you puked all over the rail? In fact, wasn't it kind of where you're standing right now? Oh my gosh, it totally was. Oh, did you have to bring that up again? I was not counting on getting that much in touch with my younger self. <laughs> I'm glad you're back. I kind of missed having you around. I feel the same way. So, what's life been like for you since you left? Positives? Negatives? You know, I went to university, got a job. On the whole, it's been really good. And the company I work for has a major break coming up, so that's interesting. Oh, that sounds great. Congratulations. <laughs> Thanks. It certainly is something to think about. I can imagine Providence Oak seems boring by comparison. Well, maybe it is, and maybe it isn't. Ooh, that sounds juicy. Is this about something or someone? I'm glad we can have these adult conversations now. Oh, there she goes with the crazy eyes. M still stands for mind your own beeswax, I see. <laughs> all right, all right, I'm backing off. What about you? How have you been? I mean, really. Really, really? It's been great, and it's been tough. You know, I guess it's like that for everyone. I mean, I wanted to go to art school, yes, but turns out I wasn't good enough, or at least that's what they told me when I applied. So I decided to stay and do my own thing, make music, perform and stuff, you know. I picked up some shifts at the diner, Barry and I reconnected, got married, and then Max came along. You haven't met him yet, have you? He turns 13 in a few months. Time flies. Anyway, having Max gave things a different rhythm, but I still continued with my music. Even managed to get a bit of a buzz going in Portland. Lined up a few interesting gigs. Tough to balance, but fun. That sounds exciting! Yeah, just like that, Uncle Stan got sick. Hit him and Aunt Mo like a ton of bricks. It was crushing. There I was, just about to get somewhere with my music. But I just couldn't let them down, so I stayed. Helped out nursing Uncle Stan, picked up his shifts at the diner. Where was Barry in all this? Barry was actually really great. We divided tasks back at the house, and he took care of Uncle Stan when he could. No questions asked. He was just there. I can't 
can't imagine what it must have been like to make that choice. I see where you're going, but honestly, I count myself lucky in a way. It gave me time to assess. Sounds like you really stepped up. Well, in hindsight, it was a lot. In the moment, though, you don't stop to think. You just do it. And now you still work at the diner? Well, Mo has offered a couple of times to put my name above the door at the diner. Up until now, it felt like too much. Too soon. Too definitive. But, I don't know. Maybe if she asks again, I'll think about it. The way things ended up, it may not have been part of my master plan. But I got to spend some of the most precious moments of my life with the most precious people I know. Got to say goodbye to Uncle Stan and be there for Mo. He basically raised me. I'm grateful I got to do that for them. And I built a family of my own, right here in good old P.O. And one day, those kids will hurl all over this rail, just like we did. <laughs> <laughs> So, yeah, it's been tough, but looking back, I wouldn't trade any of it for the world. Oh, that's so great, Kay. I'm glad at least one of us grew up to be a well-rounded individual. Is there a manual I can borrow? Well, after you left, I had to raise myself, didn't I? <sighs> so, ready to descend to the world below? Yeah, seems like it's time. Come on, then. Hello? Hi, Meredith. It's me. Hi, Dad. What's up? The sun is up. The sky is blue. Life's good here. <laughs> nice. Wish I could say the same. I hope you mean about the weather. Well, it did rain a lot here today. Oh, just wait until the wet season really starts. It never ends. Why haven't you told her yet? Let me talk to her. Well, excuse me, Mrs. Weiss. Meredith, sorry to break it up. Your mom wants to talk to you. Meredith, I'm so excited. Your dad and I found this cottage this weekend near the beach. It's so pretty. Not too big, but who wants to be inside anyway? Uh, me? I like to be inside. I know, honey, but hear me out. We talk to the owner. We can rent it for the time being, spend the winter here. And if we like it, we can buy it and settle down here for good. Wow, that's quite a big step. Life changing and all that. Isn't it something? And uh, it means that our house will be vacant for a while. We won't put it on the market until we've tried out Florida for a few months. So, um, if you want to extend your stay in Providence Oaks... <laughs> no thanks. I need to get back to my normal life soon. Well, just thought I'd mention it. But uh, it's a pretty big deal, so just think about it for now. Hmm? Can I talk to her for a sec again? Yeah, uh, here comes your dad again. Bye, dear. I'm going to get us something bubbly. Hey, Meredith. Just wanted to say that I'll call again at the end of this week. Have a great one. Okay. Bye, Dad. Memories, memories, memories. Of you and me Memories Ah <sighs> 
Oh, Mickey, <laughs> that was so deep. Right, Meredith? Wow, yeah, awesome. It's in the darkness when my soul stars align and, and illuminate the real me. Oh, baby, I'm so happy for you. We, we need to celebrate this moment. I'll be right back, ladies. Mickey can be difficult sometimes, but nights like these... I wouldn't want to be anywhere else but with him. And that's why you're following him all the way to Canada? It's also that he needs me. He would get into trouble without me. Is she interrogating you again, June? Oh, Mickey. Be nice to sweet Meredith. <laughs> I'm just kidding now. Uh, sorry for being a hard ass the other day, Meredith. It's just that we need to be a bit cautious. It's okay, Mickey. I've had worse, delivering mail. Delivering mail for the man? I couldn't do that. The man? What man? The man, you know, in general. Anything with authority, in whatever shape or form it appears. I think I know what you mean. Feeling like a prisoner of society. Hey, guys. Let's not spoil this evening with heavy stuff, okay? Ah, you're so right, Junebug. Who cares about the man when I've got you? There's something that'll make you feel lighter. Much lighter. <coughs> Meredith! Sure. My turn. How about some booze? Sure. What do you have? Beer, wine, and whiskey. Whiskey. Why not? Gotcha. Be right back. Memories. 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 Of you and and me memories. All righty, here you go. This is the life. It sure is. It will be even better once we're finally in Canada. I'm sure you'll have more peace in Canada. I hope you guys will be happy there. It's so exciting. Damien will pick us up with his Jeep tomorrow morning. We'll have a cozy hour under the blankets when we cross the border. And then we're good. Hey! I just realized we're abandoning the RV. You should totally have it. Mickey, can Meredith have the RV? What piece of junk? <laughs> Knock yourself out. Really, guys? That's awesome. No problem. We don't really believe in possessions anyway. Whatever you decide, we'll leave it at the gas station. That's where we rendezvous with Damien. Wild. Memories, memories, memories of you and me. Memories.